I grew up in a pretty stereotypical Christian family. Um, we went to church every Sunday. Um, I had to go to Sunday school. But that was kind of like my view of growing up as a Christian was just you had to go to church, you prayed at dinner, you did devotions once in a while, but that was kind of it. I viewed it as a thing that I just had to participate in. My life was broken. Um, I grew up in a Christian home. I knew Jesus, but didn't follow him. I was living in lies, lies that were surrounded by good, but were complete destruction. Uh, a life filled with confusion, hate, um, anger, drugs, and alcohol. Uh, a life filled with broken relationships. Um, because of my love for this world, I was choosing drugs over my family. I was a troublemaker and didn't care about my actions. I got kicked out of my home and school. Uh, I was lost. When I was in elementary school, I would get bullied a lot. And, um, and in grade seven, I started to drink and, and smoke weed and just experiment with some stuff with some of my, my uh, friends that I had and we would get, we would get wasted on weekends. And, uh, and then throughout high school, I kind of still struggled with um, just self-image and like, you know, it was hard to make friends. But I, I realized that when I started to drink and, and party, that I was more accepted. As I graduate from high school and go to university, I'm blacking out every weekend uh, drunk. And by this point, I'm experimenting with kind of more hardcore drugs like cocaine and ecstasy. And I didn't really like who I was when I was sober because I felt like I was boring and nobody really liked me. And so, but when I would get drunk or high, I was like the center of the uh, center of the party, center of tension. And so basically this lifestyle of, of just addictions led me to six years ago overdosing on Halloween. And uh, I just remember waking up in the hospital, just full of shame, full of guilt. I couldn't believe that my life got to that point. Around that time, I, it's like I heard a voice in my heart say, go to church. I kind of started to disconnect and, well, I wasn't really connecting their place to like the worship or the messages or anything like that. Um, 13, I made the decision to go to Westgate. Uh, for The decision in that was because my friends were going to that church at the time. So it was more, I've also been to that church a couple times and I had connected so much more with the messages and the worship there then started going to youth group there and engaging in you know church life there and that was kind of what eventually led to my decision to wanting to be baptized at the age of 14. Um, just hearing that that voice in my heart say go to church I just it was kind of weird but I I knew I had to listen to it and so I asked my girlfriend at the time if if she wanted to go check out church and she agreed. We heard the gospel of Jesus dying on the cross and uh, for the forgiveness of sins and that he, that he restores lives and sets people free. We were just like hoping that this was it, that this was real. Both of us, my girlfriend and I, put up our hands to receive Jesus. All the while my heart's crying out, God, I hope you're real. And as we say this prayer, nothing crazy happens. But afterward, I started to experience a heart change. My desires to drink alcohol, to do drugs, to watch pornography were just removed. Um, drugs and pornography were instantly gone and it was a little while after that the desire to drink was gone too. The desire to go clubbing was all just removed from, from my heart and it was a total miracle. I couldn't believe it and, and then I, I was like given new desires. I was given the desire to, to go to church, like I actually wanted to go to church. I wanted to read the Bible and it was just such a... a a change of heart and I started to see people differently I started to treat my girlfriend differently like there was just a love in my heart that wasn't that wasn't there before basically we we just we we gave our lives over to Jesus and he revealed himself to us in such a powerful way um, I was smoking weed with my buddy uh, one night and I started feeling strange uh, it kind of felt like my body was gonna shut down at any time um, and so I just tried to get to bed um, but laid there, my heart started to feel strange, so I put my hand on my heart and I actually stopped for about three seconds. So at that moment, uh, I thought I was going to die. Um, I went through a full-on panic attack. 
my whole body was shaking, uh, knees buckling. Uh, I felt like my, the life was being sucked out of me. Uh, at that point, I just cried out to God and I said, God, if you're there, please take this thing away from me. Uh, please reveal yourself to me and, and show me that you're, you're with me. And uh, I told him I'd give my life to him. Right then and there, I, I heard a voice uh, that began to sing to me. Um, I knew that couldn't have been my own mind. Um, and that, that night, I gave my life to Jesus. After that night, uh, Jesus changed my life. Um, he freed me from drugs and alcohol, from anger and confusion. Uh, he freed me from sin and completely transformed my life. Uh, as I spent time in the Bible and prayed, God began to reveal His truth to me. Uh, he revealed how the choices I made had destroyed my relationships. Uh, he revealed to me how the things I was surrounding myself with uh, was affecting my life and it was blinding me to the destruction it caused. Uh, Jesus restored my relationship and gave me purpose in life. My relationship with God now um, means a lot more to me than it did when I was a teenager. Um, because now it means, you know, He's my Heavenly Father, right? And so I can come to Him with all of my problems, I can talk to Him about anything. And After we've we experienced God in, in such a real way, um, I was living with my girlfriend and I knew instantly in that moment when I accepted Jesus that I had to marry her. And so I, I proposed to her and then we got married. Uh, a couple months later and it was really fast and I just knew like in my heart that I needed to marry her. Yeah, we got married and now we have two beautiful daughters and um, we just have such a, a purpose in our lives now. We, we know why we're alive. I know why I'm alive. I didn't have peace or hope or love or joy or any of that stuff before and now I'm my heart is full of that. Peace, hope, love and joy. I'm just full of it and I just want to give it give it out to everybody and, and you know no one can convince me that that he's not real because he's done such an amazing work in my life, in my wife's life, and I just, I've given over my life to God. I didn't want my life before, and so I gave it to somebody who did.